everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Okay, so here I've got a pair of my son's pants. They're ripped and stained at the knees, so I can't donate them. I've also got this beautiful white shirt that has a stain right over here. I can't get it out. I tried everything. And it's beautiful fabric, which I'm going to keep, keep the buttons. But then what can I do with the pockets? So in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the projects that are made using pockets from things that were stained, ripped and couldn't be donated. All right, let's begin. OK, so the first thing that I have to show you is an actual journal. We'll go through it in the moment. So what I did is I took one of those pockets and I sewn it straight onto some cardstock. If you don't sew, you don't have to sew. You can just simply glue it on. So you can actually see at the back here the sewing. All right. So and then what I've got inside this pocket, I like this one in particular because it has a button. So I thought it would be a good uh, pocket for front of the journal. And then in here, I just put some things that, you know, one might use inside a journal. So just little bits and pieces like that or a little pencil or pen can go in there as well. And I think that makes a really, really cool journal cover. So I'm just going to show you inside very quickly. I've got some pockets over here and I made them all kind of look like tags, the pages, and I've done some sewing around. So, and this little pocket I made uh, from the exact same pair of shorts. So I think that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, you know, when you're ripping up a pair of pants or jeans, you can use the whole thing, not just the pockets, right? So I've just got some other things in, in here, clipped some things in. So I'm just doing a quick flip through because um, this journal is not the point of the video. I want to show you some of the other ideas on how I used the pockets. All right, so that is the journal. All right, so next thing that I have over here is this kind of like a pen holder thing. So it can either be a floating pen holder that I can carry with me, or I can actually glue it onto a journal cover. So that would also be pretty cool. The only thing I'm concerned about is let's say it's glued in there. And then when I open it up and when I want to journal, then things are in my way. So I'm always uh, cautious about that. I don't like anything kind of being bulky. So that's why I left it as a, something that's separate that I can carry with me. But I think this is such a cool little simple idea that you can use, uh, you can gift with a, a journal purchase, you can give as a gift. I think it looks really cool. So the only thing that I did basically is the same that I, uh, as I've mentioned before, I have a pocket here that I've sewn directly onto some cardstock. In this case, I'm not bothered about the back sewing showing. I don't mind that at all. But if you are, of course, you can just cover that with some beautiful scrapbook paper and then that sewing would be hidden and then I just decorated the top up here so it kind of looks like a large tag as well okay and then I've got things like this so I simply put some tags into the pockets over here and then this one I've created a second pocket I have a video on making these. It's one of my earlier videos. So I'm going to link it down below if you wanted to have a look. But I basically just use one of those and glue it straight onto the pocket because this pocket was white. It didn't look very good. So I created a pocket on, on a pocket and then I've got this tag in here. This journal belongs to. And I've got some more tags at the back. And if you wish, you can see that I've sewn right down this part as well. If you wish, you can just sew the, the sides and the bottom and then leave that as yet another pocket but for some reason I decided against it and so look how cool this looks inside the journal so this journal is already complete but if you wanted to you can have it glued onto the front cover if your journal is large enough this one is larger than a, than a standard journal so you can see my hand here but I think it would look pretty cool um, you know in a journal or like on the back looks pretty cool or even if it's just a floating it doesn't have to be glued down it can just be a, a floating pocket I guess 
So by now, I think you get the idea. Basically, they are pockets that you can put anything inside. So what I also did with this one, as you can see, I've got some of my paint brushes in here. So I can hang this off a wall. I can uh, stick it onto my board with a thumbtack and you can just sit there like a, you know, a pocket for my brushes. Uh, another thing that I wanted to try, you can see this one here, I didn't add anything into. I just wanted to show you uh, how I did it. But one other thing that I wanted to try is I want to create a large wall hanging and uh, basically I want to have a large cardstock piece. Maybe I can sew some cardstock pieces together and then glue, I mean sew the pockets on and then I have a large kind of an organizer. I think that would be a really cool idea. But for now I just made single single little pockets but I mean you can take this any way that, that you, you know you can think of there's many different things we can do so I just wanted to show you basically what I did is I would cut out the pocket and then I would simply place it onto my cardstock and then I would sew around I had a little bit of an issue with these bulky things here I'm, I can't remember the name so when I was sewing and I would come really close to them um, it was quite difficult but I worked around it I didn't change my foot uh, on my sewing machine I didn't change it into the zipper foot you see I don't really understand sewing machines much so I just kind of found a way to work around it so I simply sewn around and I have my pocket here I left this as it is on the back like I said you can always cover it with some uh, beautiful scrapbook paper and there are so many different things that we can do with these pockets but I thought this nice little short show and tell video might be helpful to you and might inspire you in some way I had a whole lot of fun with this project but I have to say the journal of course is my favorite because I just love it so much uh, and I had a lot of fun making it so just so you know these pages are cardstock just in case if you're wondering uh, on what I used all right so that's it for today I hope that you find it inspiring I didn't do an actual tutorial because it's quite straightforward what I did and you guys told me that you actually like these show and tell videos every now and again rather than a full tutorial so if you have any questions or if you have anything else that you want to tell me or ask me or whatever, please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, and just in case if you're wondering, the cardstock that I used is this craft cardstock and it's 216 GSM. So uh, it was a perfect size. I didn't have to cut anything out and most of my pockets fit perfectly onto it. Apart from this one, you can see this one I cut out a little bit larger, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect or that's what I told myself.